No, thank you. Now, Italy says 6,500 migrants have been rescued in a single day off the coast of Libya. The Italian Coast Guard says the operation included vessels from humanitarian organisations as well as the EU's border agency Frontex. Our diplomatic editor, Dominic Waghorn, is here for 6,500 in one day. Extraordinary number, isn't it? And extraordinary pictures. I mean, we're getting used to... ...on whether police officers should be allowed to have visible tattoos. Would you be happy to see a Bobby on the beach with a large tattoo on their arm, neck or even their face? Do you think it makes officers look any less professional or is a ban on body art a form of discrimination? Send us a short video with your views. Tweet me at Kay Burley or message me on Facebook. It's Kay Burley Scowell. Louisa actually left policing to start a family but wasn't allowed back because of her tattoo. Um, well, I, I mean, I've, I've got... Um, well, I, I mean, I've, I've got... Um, well, I, I mean, I've, I've got my views on, on tattoos. Obviously, I'm not going to share... I have shared them on Twitter, so have a look there on my Twitter feed if you would like. We're also going to be hearing uh, from that contributor. She will be speaking to us live on the programme in about 20 minutes' time. I'm going to put Harriet Hadfield on the spot. What do you think? Funeral being held in Italy shortly for 230 of the people killed. <coughs> question we've been asking of you via social media all afternoon is whether or not members of the police should be allowed visible tattoos. It's been brought up by the Police Federation. They say yes. What say you? Our debate coming up in just a moment. Watching Sky News, the headlines for you. The Euro Watching Sky News, the headlines for you. The Euro now, what do you, you or what would you think if you call the police and the officer that turned up had large, dog owner, visible, tattoos. convinced that he or she really does understand when you talk? A new study suggests you're right. Researchers in Hungary have scanned dogs' brains as the animals listen to their trainers. They find that dogs could tell if they were being praised, good boy, and their brains work in a similar way to humans, joined by animal psychologist and proud owner. Hugford. First of all, what have you okay. done to your neck? I was really stupid. I should know about animals, should have gored me. So thank you to the NHS. I'm in one piece, but with a broken neck, broken back and a broken Ooh. rib. And so it's been a, a month of misery. Um, but back and a broken rib and so it's been a, a month of misery um, but of course that their bedside partners when you're feeling down ill or seriously sick um, you know cats get on the bed and purr and, and yeah they the dogs sit either side of the bed and and they're great companions when you're down aren't they do they pick up on your emotions totally absolutely and, and that's one of the clever things about dogs and um, they they look into the, the the left side of our face they they recognize they look into the the, the left side of our face they way we say things so you could say good dog like as though he's a really bad dog really bad, a good dog um, it's kidding. not just the tone but also the content of what we say. i was widely ridiculed for saying that dogs could feel um, sadness, but they can. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they, they obviously they miss, uh, a, 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 um, and um, and it's joyous when you return. So it's all about love and attachment. And okay. well, at least, uh, typically, in my research, about ninety. Okay. Well, at least, uh, typically, in my research, about ninety words per dog of, that's really? in an average home. Wow. With the, all the average things of, oh, don't be silly, and so you stay there, and I won't be long. And, and so on. And then much more complex things can be said to dogs. Obviously, typically a trained guide dog, for instance, you know, has an enormous vocabulary of hundreds of words. He looks um, a bit stressed, doesn't he? He's really stressed. <laughs> <laughs> but I could get him out of there in just one simple little uh, sentence, which shall I try? And he'll suddenly come to life. Bounce! Where's Humphrey? Where's Humphrey? <laughs> Go find Humphrey. <laughs> uh, Humphrey. He's his best friend, oh, but I equally see. I could have said, go find Marissa, my wife, and go find so-and-so, X, Y, Z. Oh, you've round him up now. And he would do that um, because they're trained to learn words as well as the way we say them. 
Okay, okay. And is there much research? Oh, obviously, we've been talking about the research that we've seen, but you were telling me Irish setters are quite smart. Have yeah, there was a, a wonderful huh? peer of the realm, an Irish peer of the realm called Lord Lubbock. And Will of he course, come back there up is a. There, yes, a bounce, a bounce, bounce. On your feet. Up, up. Good. Um, Boy, and oh, he bounce. loves me this. And Lord Lubbock did some amazing studies of the, uh, I've forgotten the name of his bitch, Irish setter, yeah. who could uh, learn words. I'm happy, or you are happy, um, and some water. Um, so, <laughs> but the other great motivating thing for Irish setters and uh, Labradors, and probably is just like our lust for money, it is a lust for food. So okay. food is the other great motivator. Okay, so what can we do with that? I'm losing my cable because I'm leaning over to, to feed him. So what can we do with that information? How, as humans, can, can it benefit us? Be careful you don't say things you don't... Uh, but, um, no, uh, speak, speak and be friendly to your dog as your best friend. And, uh, and harsh words, uh, rough words, um, leave them to talk to the doorstep or something that won't be uh, damaged by your dog. And what about between each other? Can they communicate quite well together? They certainly do. Um, we know that... Um, a hundredth of a second is required for a dog. And so dogs process information, complex information, very rapidly indeed. Now, obviously, we process conversation, and of course, they've been evolving for many tens of thousands of years to develop these human oriented skills. And do different dogs manage to process that information? more effectively? This would be about as controversial if I said yes as saying, you know, uh, different sexes, uh, different abilities or different races. You but know. they do, don't they? But they, they may well do. There may well be some dozy breeds of dogs, um, but I'm not going to say which ones oh, are. Oh, go but, on. Which but ones Irish are setters are way up there, of course, and Labrador. I've got Irish setters. Um, but it is uh, largely about their attentiveness to human signals. Them as well. So, for example, fireworks displays or whatever, we can use chosen words to try yeah, to, to, to help them. Absolutely, and, and, and talking to them. And Looks pretty relaxed. You've got a fixture. You know, yeah. Just, I'll name his price and you can have him. OK. I'll swap him for three <laughs> Irish setters. <laughs> that sounds a deal. OK, excellent. And I wish you better. I Thank you. No, no. Better, so. God bless the NHS. I'll be better. Very, very good. Thank you very much indeed.